Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the transaction class, agent class and register sequence for verifying our DOT, which consists of a single register unit. Okay. Now in this video, I will show you the complete code with integration part. How we can verify a register, a DOT which has a single register using UVM rail system very log version of UVM rail. Okay. So this is what the test bench architecture, simple test bench architecture. Let me show you this is what the DOT which consists of a single register and it has a single field called F0. It has several inputs and single output. The size of this register is of 8 bit. Now here as a part of test bench architecture we are defining the agent which typically consists of a sequencer and driver. And the adapter register model consists of in the adapter. The responsibility of adapter as you know. It will convert the register transaction to the bus transaction and vice versa. Then the register sequence is there in which we are defining our sequence. Okay. We are not considering the bus sequence. We are defining a register sequence and we are taking the help of adapter which convert this register sequence to the bus, bus sequence. Okay. Let me show you the complete code. We'll go through the code. Already we had a discussion about the transaction class and many classes. Let me just walk you through with all ones. So this is what two lines we have to add. These two lines are mandatory in order to get the access of UVM macros and in order to get the access of all UVM packager classes. This is for the transaction class. The transaction class will keep the track of all the inputs and outputs. So as a part of this transaction class, we are defining all the inputs and outputs of our DOT, which is extending from UVM sequence item. And as a part of this class, we are using factory station micro and factory station and field micros. You can see over here, and we are providing all the inputs and outputs. It's default constructor expecting one argument because this class is a object class in the UVM base class here. Hence, we have to register take UVM object object details. Okay. Now the driver class, driver class responsibility is to drive the stimulus to the DOT through virtual interspace. So as a part of driver, we have to define the interface which should be in virtual nature because the classes are the dynamic in nature and interface and static. So class driver which is extending from UVM driver and just parameterize the type of a transaction. As it is a component class, we have to register tick UVM component details and its default constructor expecting two arguments. Now in the build phase, just we are creating the object for this REQ, which is the inbuilt object of the transaction class. We have to create using factory create method so that we can allocate a memory for them. And we are getting the virtual interface here, which we are setting onto the top class. Let me show you the top ones. So in the top module, we are defining the instance of an interface VIF and here we are just doing our DOT instantiation using name base. And within initial begin block, we are you we are setting that interface right using UVM config DB within parenthesis virtual DOT interface set by, by calling the set method and here we are providing four arguments as you know. Just just we are generating a clock over here using always block in, in another initial begin block. We are dumping a file in order to see the waveform. So this is what the test. And here in the initial begin block, first initial begin block, after setting the interface, we are calling a run test method and providing the test as an output. So run test is a task which uh, you know initiate all the all the phases to run from build phase to final phase. Now let me show you the driver class. Okay. So inside the driver as we are getting in the build phase that component virtual interface which we are setting right. Now reset task already we discussed our duty has a reset so we are applying the reset and providing the default values for all the inputs. And then we are waiting for some cycle and just printing the message that system reset is there. Then we are removing the reset. Then in the drive task we are removing the reset and providing the stimulus to the DUT. And we are checking if write enable one, then we are applying the DIN to the DUT through virtual interface using non block design. Waiting for two clock cycles and just printing a message that data write. Else part means that if the write enable is zero, 
then we are just capturing the output using blocking assignment. So request dot d out is equal to vi for d. That's simple. Then just printing a message like to data read. Now in the run phase, which is the main phase for us, here we are calling a forever pull, forever begin end, and here just sequence item dot port get next item. Se sequence item port dot get next item. In sequence item port dot item done. Here we are calling the drive task. Okay. So this drive task is a main task in which we are driving the stimulus to the DOT. Now the agent class, which is a component class, just a container as you know. Here we are creating the instance for driver and inbuilt sequencer. Okay. And at, as it is a default uh, component class in the UVM based class hierarchy, we have to register with the QVM component it is. And it's default constructor expecting two arguments. In the build phase, we are creating all the objects of driver and sequencer using factories create method. And in the connect phase, we are making a connection of sequencer and drive. So this is driver instance dot sequence item port because the driver has a port dot connect method within parenthesis sequencer dot sequence item port already be discussed. Now in the register class, already we discussed that we have to extend it from UVM range. We have to register with tick UVM object it is. And our register has a single field F0. We have to define that UVM range field. And its default constructor along with two arguments like uh, the width or size of a register and UVM no coverage because we right now we don't want any separate coverage from this register. Okay, the, in the user defined build method, we have to create the field and we have to provide the nine arguments in the configure method. Already we discussed about it. In the register block, which is extending from UVM reg block, we have to use a tick UVM object details and we have to divide, define the instance of a register. Right now we only have single register, right? So instance of that single register is zero. zero. It's default constructor along with UVM no coverage because we don't want separate coverage from this register. Block. In the user defined build method, we have to create the register block, uh, register instance, and we have to call the build method, which we already defined in the register, right? This build method. Then we have to do a configure for this instance of a register. Then here we have to define, uh, we have to use a create method for map. So default map is equal to create map within parenthesis. We have to provide four arguments, the instance, the base address, the size in byte and the Indian already we discussed. Then we have to use the add reg method in the parenthesis. We have to provide the instance of that register and the offset address is zero. We are considering and the type of access. And here we are using this statements set auto predict because right now we are not considering any monitor. Okay. So as you can see over here, we are not considering any predictor. So for that, we are depending upon the default predictor, which is a implicit prediction, right? So for that, we have to provide the, we have to use a set auto predict method. The default map dot set auto predict within parenthesis, we have to give the argument one and we are just locking our model over here. So it is mandatory. So after locking our model, no further structural changes can be possible. Then the register class, uh, register sequence class already we discussed in the last video. As a part of this class, we have to provide the status field and two variables like desired value variables and mirrored value variables. The size should be the same as a register size in the hardware. Then just we are getting the initial values using get method into the desired variable and into the mirror variable, we are getting, uh, you know, mirrored value using get mirrored value. Method. So default value should be zero. And just we are printing the initial or default values for desired value variables and mirrored value variables. Now we are using the set method. So the set method is used to set the desired value variables of a register model already we discussed. So register block instance dot res register instance dot set method within parenthesis the value which we want to write into the DUT um, into the register of a reg, reg block. So this set method is used to set the desired variable of a reg model. Okay. So remember this set method will not do anything onto the hardware register. Okay. Now here we are using a get method. So this get method will give the uh, desired value variable which we already set and get mirrored value variable will give here zero because this set method is used to set the desired value variable not the mirrored value variable so here if we are printing after set method desired vari variable will be 10 whereas the mirrored variable will be zero after that we are using a write method so this write method is used to write 
uh, into the hardware register. Remember, this write method is a front door write method. In the parenthesis, we have to provide the instance and the value which we want to write into the hardware register. So, five value we want to write into the hardware register. Now, we are getting the desired variables and mirrored variables. Okay. So, this desired variable will be five. Any transaction on the DOT will change the desired variable and mirrored variable. So, this get mirrored value value, uh, you know, will be we will get through this set auto predict method. Okay. Now, here we are printing the method um, statement like using info. After write method is the desired variable value and the mirrored variable. Now, just a end task body, end class register sequence. Adapter already we discussed the responsibility of adapter is to convert the register transaction to the bus transaction and bus transaction to the register transaction. So as a part of this adapter, we have to provide two uh, methods. So first adapter, we have to extend it from UVM Reg adapter. And as a part of this, as I told you, we have to provide two methods, res to bus and bus to res. Already we discussed all these things in the last week. The environment class now we have to discuss. The environment which is extending from UVM environment. As a part of this environment, we have to create, we have to define the instance of agent, register block, and adapter. As it is a component class in the UVM based class hierarchy, we have to define take UVM component else factory registration macro and its default constructor expecting two arguments. Now in the build phase, we have to create the agent, the register block, and we have to call the build method of a register block. And after the instance, uh, uh, after that, the adapter using factories create method in the build phase. Right? Now in the connect phase, this is important. Here we have to provide the, uh, you know, map has to map has the instances of a sequencer and adapter. So we have to use set sequencer method to provide the sequencer object and adapter object to the map. So how we are providing register block dot register block instance dot the default map dot set sequencer method and it's expecting two arguments so dot sequencer within parenthesis the sequencer which is there in the agent comma dot adapter the adapter instance this and we have to provide a base address so base address is zero for us so by calling a set bait address we can provide so the register block dot default map dot set base address within parenthesis zero because zero is a base address for us and end function connect face end class environment now the base class base test here uh, just we are creating the instance of the environment as you can see base test which is extending from UVM test and as it is a component class in the UVM base class hierarchy we have to register with tick UVM component is factory station macro and its default constructor expecting two arguments now in the build phase just we have to create the environment using factory create method and in the end of elaboration just we are printing the topology in order to get uh, the complete you know test bench to see that how you know, different components and objects create now in the report phase just we are uh, checking that if uvm fatal plus uvm error greater than zero then test fail else test pass very simple now in the test class which is extending from base test we are registering with the tick uvm component this factor station macro and we here we are defining the instance of sequence register sequence sorry register sequence which we are going to start onto the sequence as it is a component class, it's default construct expecting two arguments. Now in the build phase, we are creating the instance, uh, you know, allocating a memory for register sequence using factory create method. And in the run phase, which is the main phase for the test, we are using the objection mechanism. Phase dot raise objection, phase dot drop objection. And we are here we are starting the sequence onto the sequencer, which is there in the agent of the environment using a start method. And just we are setting the drain time, like 300 you can give, uh, 200 also so that all the stimulus process successful now inside the top we are just uh, you know instantiating our design using name base and just we are setting the virtual interface and calling a run test and generating a clock very soon now after save this code if you run this code we'll check the result of the set method and get method okay let me run the code After running this code, uh, after using a set method, after using a set method, after using a set method, I can show you 
how the desired variable will be set. Okay. So as you can see over here. As you can see over here in the console, the initial value of desired value and mirrored value variable will be zero. Okay. Initial value of desired value and mirror variable will be zero. Uh, let me see this why it is not ready. Let me run once again this code. Now it's loading and taking more time. Let me show you the uh, result through this PPT itself. I'll put a link of that code in the description. You can go through that code and you can run that code. Okay. So you'll find the same result as there in the PPT. So the initial value desired and mirrored value will be zero. Okay. Then after set method, the desired value as we are setting to 10 and mirrored value will be zero because the set method is used to set the desired value variable of a register model. Now after writing the five, because we are calling a write method, it will write the five into the register uh, register model. Okay, so you will find the desired variable will be five, and the mirrored variable will be five. Okay, you can see over here. Very simple. So this is what the you know uh, concept of the register uh, rel, the complete example. So here we understood how desired value and mirrored value will be in a change. But if we are using the set method, get method, and you know get mirrored value, mirror, get mirrored value method, and how the write method, front door write method, will help us to update the register model, uh, you know, duty register content. Okay. So I'll put a link of this code in the description. You can go through this and you can play around with this. Okay. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of the you know, DOT verification, which consists of a single register. And I hope you understood how we can use the methods like set, get, get mirrored value and the right method. In the next video, we'll try to explore more about the different methods of those front door and back door. So this set, get, get mirrored value already we discussed now. And in the next video, we'll uh, discuss this breed, update, predict, mirror, randomize. And also we'll try to you know, understand the back door access. So with this, I hope you understood this concept and also I hope you enjoyed this. So thanks for watching. Thank you.